Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So one of the most anticipated rackets that I've been waiting for is finally out. The V-Core 95. And as you know, I didn't like the old version, but is this new version as good as the older version than that old version? Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Tony. Tony didn't write anything, but I know who this Tony is. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Tony's a good customer here, and he appreciates me for, you know, taking care of him. So um, I appreciate you appreciating me. So thank you so much for the hot cup of joe today and for the next couple days i see so if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin thank you so much in advance if you want to support the channel super thanks is the way there is a link below and you can help support the channel as much or as little as you like. All right, cheers to you guys. All right, so as you guys know, this is my favorite 95. Coach Goo likes this racket a lot. Coach Chris, I mean, everybody I put this racket in into their hands, they're like, yep, that's magic. Yep, that's magic. In the model after this, which is either current model or just one that just went away it was missing something it lost a millimeter off the top and lost some guts i thought in the new version the one that just got released or at least just got released in my hand um felt a little more magic here at least when i tried it a little bit and dan tried it too but I want to geek out on this a little bit more because it's pretty important to me that we somehow get back to this with maybe this one. Okay? So I'm going to call my man Dan out and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Stay tuned. All right. So my man Dan is in the house. The warrior has just come back with my favorite yonex 95 of all time the all red version from 2018 and he just swung this one again the v core 95 the 2023 version of it so dan wait a minute i feel something different already sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> i didn't break it i promise no no, no. i feel something different in the throat mm. this throat feel the throats <laughs> feel the throats and then feel this throat that feels thicker doesn't it or is the shape it, it's difference? a shape yeah yeah so this is uh this is just a little more rounded through here there's a slight bevel in here feels thinner though it, it feels thinner yeah it's just a different shape so they do a, a different bevel shape in here so a, like we talked about before a lot of differences in the shapes the sizes we won't go into all of that but uh we'll talk today about how they played and compared okay so i just spent a couple hours uh on the court we we freshly strung up the we'll call this the older version uh the same poly tour uh strike at, at 52 pounds mm -hmm. both one two five just different colors one two five different colors the 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 the, the blue one has a little more time on it a couple extra hours but they're very close in tension um, but there is still a slight difference in tension. The, the, newer, the old one with the newer string is slightly tighter. So we just spent some time with these two, and um, they're very, very close. That's the first thing. The second thing is they're both very good, and my conclusion from uh, reviewing the newer one is it's a very precise, controlled scalpel racket. Mm -hmm. If you're looking through a big, head-heavy plow-through power racket this isn't it, this isn't that but even if you like that style you might be pleasantly surprised by how much control and accuracy you can get mm -hmm. from 
both of these rackets. Um, I like to tell it like it is because I'm not uh, paid one way or the other. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm not, you know, the, the, the best player in the world, but I play a lot and I play with a lot of different rackets. So I would say if I was blindfolded and you asked me which racket I was playing with, I probably couldn't tell you. That's how close they are. I'd say maybe 3% apart and that could just be the strings. But I honestly felt like the older one, I just felt a little more crisp, just a little bit more touch out of it, um, but it's very subtle. I love the new graphics. If I had to pick one right now... On graphics alone. On graphics alone, <laughs> I'd, I'd pick the new one because they are so close. And again, I think once the strings equalize, um, they're very similar. They made a lot of changes, as we right. talked about, in, in a lot of d dimensional changes. And uh, Harry's going to talk about some of the specs oh, yeah. between awesome. these awesome. two. So... My fi the one I like, the all red one, we had a weight strung just like as is right here of 328. Swing weight of 318, a balance of 317 here. So the thing that surprised us both is that it is heavier than the new one, but it has less swing weight than the new one. I mean, balance is I mean, kind of right there. It's got less swing weight it's head lighter, but it's heavier. <laughs> yeah, so four grams, four grams of weight difference isn't probably that noticeable. A couple, of, a couple of millimeters of balance isn't probably anything you notice. I would have thought that a nine point difference in swing weight um, off the new one would have given me more plow, more mm -hmm. power, and be really noticeable. So I don't know, maybe between all these subtle differences, um, maybe it sort of equals out because I honestly didn't feel much difference in the swing weight between the two rackets and in terms of the power production. So they clearly are tweaking some things and uh, maybe, um, you know, on a warmer day, uh, you know, uh, getting more power into the ball, um, you might you might feel it, a, a, a bigger difference between the two. Mm. Uh, they both felt great, yeah. but um, it's 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 a tough it's a tough call. I I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd slightly like the older one better today and that could have again just been the fresher strings so you said three percent more when you when i asked you before, when you walked in very close i'd, I'd give I'd, I'd give a three three percent advantage to the to the older one but that's you know that's today's feeling and maybe you know we we try it again and uh, put more time into them and see if they they separate more okay so mm. i'd like like to play with them some more sometime okay thank you perfect dan as always Thanks for helping me analyze um, the rackets. All right, guys, I want to congratulate Taylor for just graduating from nursing school at Dominican University out here in San Rafael. What a happy day for the Velasco family. We got Daddy Paul on the right, such a proud papa. Fiance to be Darren right here. <laughs> All right. So taking us out today will be Taylor. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, are you looking for a coach, a pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right, check out Player Court. They have professionals, they have hitting partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game, guys.